Why, hello there, and welcome back to abeerjourney.com. Thanks for joining me on this gorgeous day we're having here in Indiana. Today, we're going to be having Citra Dog. Now, this is from Thirsty Dog Brewery. Now, this is one that I mentioned before in the Three Floyd Zombie Dust review to try and pick up if you can't find zombie dust. Now, this one is an IPA, and it uses primarily the Citra Hop. Actually, I think it's the only hop that it uses. Six and a half percent alcohol. And comes in at 95 IBUs. Now, that sounds like a lot, but I found that depending on the way it's made and the kind of malt that's used in it, the IBUs aren't always a really good indicator on whether or not it's going to be too hoppy. So, just because you see a really high IBU beer, don't let that trick you into not trying it. You might find out that you actually enjoy it more than you thought you would. Now, I've gone ahead and poured this into, you know, your standard Pilsner's glass. This is most likely what you're going to receive it at in a bar. Now, as you can see, the color is somewhere between a nice honey and maybe a, a light amber. Uh, a little bit of carbonation in there, but uh, not too much. On the nose, you can definitely tell that this is a, this is a hoppier beer. It's got the citrus. It's got a little bit of the pine, maybe um, pineapple. Uh, tangerine, a little the orange, so you kind of know a little bit just what you're going to get into. Taste again. This is an IPA. This is a hoppier beer, and it's it's an American India Pale Ale. So again, it's got a lot more of that hoppiness that that pithiness so if you like that kind of stuff I think you're definitely gonna enjoy it if you don't it's probably not gonna be a beer for you um, but if you feel like expanding kind of pushing out there and trying something new give it a try it's readily available in most stores it's really reasonable I think it's like $10.99 for a six-pack um, and Thirsty Dog make a, makes a lot of good beer Again, you're getting the pithiness, you're getting the grapefruit, orange, tangerine, a lot of your citrus flavors. You know, you do get a little bit of that, you know, taste in your the back of your taste buds where it kind of makes you pucker a little bit. But it does have a fairly strong malt backbone. Uh, so it's not all hoppy. But it is an American India Pale Ale, so definitely is a hoppier beer. Uh, in one of my reviews in the Zombie Dust, I did have a reviewer tell me that I should try Fathead's Headhunter, uh, which is their IPA, so look for that one. Uh, I should be able to pick that up. I think they're out of Ohio, and they have pretty good distribution here in Indiana, so I'll pick one of those up, and I'll review it for you. Thanks for the heads up. If you guys have any other beers you'd like me to try, or you think that I should try, Hit me up in the comments. I appreciate it. I love trying new beers, and I appreciate your suggestions. So thank you for helping me on my journey, and enjoy yours.